Well, a lot of people were desperate to get vaccinated, but now some of them have been left with no immunity. Tonight, our Mary Mills talked to a transplant patient who feels at an especially high risk because of those new variants that are out there right now. After Jen Weber got her second COVID shot this spring, she felt her world had suddenly opened up. She could venture beyond her backyard, her sanctuary of sorts. At first I was exhilarated. I was way more excited than I thought I would be. Just to, it felt like such a burden of worry was lifted off of me. That feeling didn't last long. So I was tested and sure enough, I did not respond to the vaccine. Jen, who's had two double lung transplants, didn't generate any antibodies. The studies show she's among millions of immune compromised Americans for whom the vaccine doesn't provide much, if any, protection at all. Basically, they said I had to act as if I had not been vaccinated. And so from thinking that I could go back to my life, I had to go back to you know, pretty much the status quo. Jen, who's on oxygen 24 seven, is in rejection. Her body doesn't accept her donor lungs as her own. She goes to Indiana University Hospital twice a month for treatment to battle rejection and takes 50 pills a day. Still, before the mask mandates were lifted, she felt comfortable taking part in the transplant games and playing in a quartet at a farmer's market. She's been with the Carmel Symphony Orchestra for 20 years. But going out now feels a lot less safe, especially with the Delta variant. I don't know who, for the, the person next to me that's unmasked if they're vaccinated or if they're just someone that has chosen not to wear a mask and not get vaccinated. So she mostly stays home, not wanting to take the risk. Sure, I get sick. You know, my capacity to recover from a sickness is not great. Jen is considering getting a third shot as part of a study to see if it gives transplant patients like herself any immunity. So far, roughly a third have developed some antibodies. Believe me, I've done wearing masks. I've been wearing them for almost my whole life. She just wants people to know that she and many others don't have a choice right now. And in addition to transplant patients, Mary said that those who are diagnosed with blood cancers also are less likely now to benefit from the COVID-19 vaccines.